Peace, love, and light, my dear Aquarians, uh, Twin Flames. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Taylor, and I'm Butterfly. And I'm here to give you this Vessel Karmic reading for um, April 2021. Remember, this is kind of like a timeless reading. I'm just putting a date on it just so that it will show up in the surf engine. But uh, this reading is going to be about uh, your twin. Um, what has happened between you and them? What are they currently thinking about? What they're going through with their karmic? How they feel about you romantically? And what they would like to say to you, okay? So, if you are new to my channel and you like the content on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl. If this is your story, comment below. I'll respond to all my comments for as much as I can keep up with. And uh, let me know if this is your story, okay? I'm going to hop on into this reading. I don't know if there's anything else I actually put in this. Oh, yeah, I say don't karmic bash. You know, whatever they're going through is what they need to go through in order to get whatever it is so that they can become a better person. You know, sometimes they got to eat a little, little shit with sugar. You know what I'm saying? Before they realize <laughs> that ain't food. You know, get the lesson. All right, what happened between you and them? What's transpired between you and your twin flame? They might be married. Did you find out that they were, were married? And, and that's why you decided to move on and not wait for them? you definitely are not dealing with each other this person probably has children from this, all right because of other cards that were on the bottom of the deck the higher font the moon card and the three of swords in reverse and the king the knight of wands uh will of fortune in the reverse okay it looks to me that possibly your twin was married or is married Okay, and the reason why you guys are not together is because they have somebody else and that other person, they have children with that person. Uh, if they are not going through a divorce, they probably might be going through the divorce. Uh, it'll come up later on, you know, once we start getting into what they're going through with their karmic. But it looks like you have taken a break from each other because of the page of coins are reversed and the two of cups are reversed. Um, that children may be the reason why they're still holding on to that other connection yes i said children yes family that they might be very well married and that's why there's the ending y'all can't be together because of that okay queen of pentacles in reverse they very well may have a baby's mother or that that other person maybe you were pregnant by them miscarried i don't know or you just had a baby <clears throat> but there's somebody's mother that's involved here um uh, was it Capricorn Virgo or Taurus? Most definitely a Capricorn or um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio and, or Leo Sagittarius or an Aries. Oh no, not even Leo Sagittarius, Aries. There's no, no fire on this chart. Uh, of course, Gemini or Libra. Okay, so it's saying to me that the King of Cups, okay, Temperance in Reverse and the, the Ten of Cups in Reverse. So either you or the both of you um, are married and you're holding on to relationships that you've outgrown and that you're not expressing how you truly feel in, you know, in this connection that you have with each other, that you two both very well may be married and why you're, or in previous relationships and that you can't come together because of those previous relationships that you're holding out or holding on to those other things because of commitments that deals with children and finances and that you're staying in unhappy situations and you're hiding how you feel because you're trying to do what's best for the family. But by doing what's best for the family, you are sacrificing your own happiness because it's saying that you guys are not happy, you know, that you went back to your previous commitments or you met each other while in a committed relationship and you can't be together because you have other prior commitments. Okay. That's one of the funky sides of that. Meeting each other at all the wrong times.
how do they feel when I tell you eating, meeting each other all I thought there were three cards here all at the wrong time y'all met each other at the wrong time well I guess it's the right time because it's divine time and that you did meet each other you were supposed to meet obviously So how they feel about choose the lovers and the two of wands in the reverse? How are they? But that's what they're thinking about right now. Eight of wands. Moon card in reverse. How are, they should? They said they should have. Oh my gosh! Ace of cups in reverse. They said that they should have left that other person to go towards you. Mm -mm -mm. They believe that you are the twin. You've got the, the lovers and the four wands to go towards the twin. You're very loving, spiritual, and creative. Probably an entrepreneur, very passionate person, very beautiful person. And it's saying that they very well may have ended their relationship. They, we're going to see, but they very well may have ended their marriage or they're in the process of breaking away. But the question is, are you available, though? They see you as their twin. They know you're their twin. They've been quite depressed about this situation. And as far as that other person goes, it looks like they don't have the same feelings for them as they do for you. That the timing was off between you and them. And it's saying that this is, this is all that they're thinking about. It's what's plaguing their mind. They're willing to wait for you. They're willing to wait for you. They're willing to slowly make progress towards coming towards you. You might be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. To bring you stability. Hmm. This is, this is interesting. The timing was not right for y'all. Yes, timing was off. You met each other at a point where you both were in different situations. Mm hmm How do they feel about you? romantically how do you feel it oh no look i have moments for getting the process what are they going through with their karmic you must say well <laughs> i almost forgot y'all sorry what are they currently going through with their karmic tell me what this said that my aquarium's twin flame what their twin flame is going through with their karmic And I, I mean, you feel sad for the karmic because, I mean, you know, the karmic loves your twin, you know. Or it could just be a messy situation. Who knows what it's going to say. That person is a person too. And they too are hurting and learning lessons too. Depending on what type of person they're dealing with. So that's why I said don't bash that karmic, you know. If things aren't working out, they're just not working out. It doesn't mean somebody needs to be thrown under the bus. But there are times where they are dealing with the evil person. <laughs> and, you know, then you could be like, oh, that devil. <laughs> you know, that sneaky, sneaky person. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. They are walking away. This is somebody they were married to because there was too much conflict. They're trying to heal their heart. This person is very, very depressed right now. Yeah, there's the higher font, the ace of swords in reverse, and the nine of swords. They are trying to get over this. They oh, they're keeping it a secret. They're keeping it a secret. They're keeping it to themselves. That they're planning to walk away from this person because this relationship has been filled with too much conflict. High Priestess, the Empress in the reverse, the Three of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Moon card, the Hierophant, the Ace of Swords in the reverse, and the Nine of Swords. They are trying to relieve themselves of this. They don't want to do this anymore with this person, whether they have children or not. That is not enough to keep them there. They'll take care of their responsibilities, but right now they, they are closed off from, from the connection. 
and now they're wishing on a star and seven of, of wands standing up for what it is that they believe they gotta stand up for themselves ten of cups because they're not happy this has been a lack of success it looks to me like this person is going towards separation from their karmic and it's saying that there's, it's just not enough that their heart's not in it anymore and they are trying to heal and move on that they're listening to their intuition their intuition said it's time for them to go it's time for them to leave us behind them to heal their hearts and go that they can't stay in a relationship that that where there's no love there and and there's always conflict that it's time for them to move on to go towards where their heart is okay which is with you so i'm gonna pull some romance angels and then twin flame mirror dialogue that okay Mm-hmm. I told you. I told you. I told you. Uh-huh. Alright, they realized that they stayed in this relationship out of codependency. This is forgiving and learning. Separation. Free yourself. Man. So this person's going through it right now. Oh, boy. Let me... This is very soon. So this is what they're going through. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So there, that's why the high priestess is there. You deserve love. You're lovable. So th with that, that uh, ten of cups are reversed, they were in a loveless situation. They were holding on to it out of commitment and not out of love. Unrequited love. There is not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's what they've realized. That this is just what's been going on in her life. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning in your life. So they are, you know, they are looking forward to reconciling with you. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. That day they would like to probably get, reconnect with you. Take you out or something. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So, yes, this situation involves marriage. As I was saying, either you or the both of you. Uh, looks like more so them free yourself it is time to take back control of, of of your life forgive and learn as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so they gotta heal and forgive themselves for the decisions that they made that that have uh, caused this situation in their life separation Time apart from a partner is on the horizon. So they are in the, in the midst of separation. And why did they stay in a relationship? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic relationship. So they were codependent to this person. But it says stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you more romance. So it's saying that they realized that they were in a codependent situation. And that they did this to themselves. You know, I mean, it's not even so much as they did this to themselves. They were already in a situation. Now they realize that that situation was no longer working for them. And because it was no longer working for them, they can still take care of their children. They can still be a good parent, whether if it's a mother or a father. Um, it's just that the, the situation is no longer working for them. And they have to go towards their own truth. And the truth is, is that there's just not enough love in that relationship to keep them together. So a separation is on the horizon. And that once they free themselves and get themselves clear to go, they will very soon decide what they want so that they can reconcile with you. Alrighty, that is my reading for you, my dear Aquarians. As I always say in all my readings, I'm sending peace, love, and light to you guys. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more readings. I do all kinds of readings on my channel. So, as I always say, peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. I wish you all the best on your twin flame journey to Amula Habi. On your to, to Amula Habi journey. Your twin flame journey. Alrighty. I will see you all next time. Peace and so much love. Thank you and goodbye. And I forgot your, um, your twin flame um, mirror dialogue. Oracle messages, which your twin would like to say to you.
Because obviously you're not in communication or there's some sort of miscommunication. Sorry, somebody is blasting music. Let me get through this. I'm clearing up karma. I can I can feel you too. I can't offer anything. I can't offer you anything more right now because of clearing up karma. I'm trying to be accountable. All right, so they're holding themselves accountable for your situation. I'm not ignore you. I'm thinking about our connection. This feels too intense. I'm not sure how to handle it. I'm working on myself. I feel heartbroken and I'm sorry for the way I treated you. I was acting from old patterns. I want to say one more. I just want to hold you again. So that is my reading for you. I have to add, edit this to add this in there. I will catch you on next reading. As always, say peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. See you soon. Peace and so much love. Thank you and goodbye.